below. And today is another edition of Metro PCS Phone Unboxer. Today's phone review is going to be the LG Optimus F60 by Metro PCS. A little background about the phone is it looks like a G3 or G2, most like a G3 because it, uh, well, either one. It's 4G LTE, it has NOT code, it has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, it has a 4.5 inch screen, it has a VGA front facing camera, and it has a 2020 milliamp hour long lasting battery. It has Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and Wi Fi calling. Can you see my face in this thing? And today we're going to crack open the phone. Unlike other Metro PCS phone boxes, it opens from the side. So you just kind of open it like that, and you pick it up. It's pretty small, it's a 4.5 inch phone, but it looks kind of like a G2, G3 kind of thing. So to open it up, it doesn't have any notches along the phone, but you can put your fingernail where the charging port is, and it opens up. Time to look for the contents of the box. First you lift up this thing, then you can lift up this. It comes with your very own Metro PCS SIM card. It comes with an instruction book. It comes with a charger, a cable, and a battery. The battery is the biggest battery I've seen for LG. It looks like this, so it probably lasts a long time. We're just going to open this like this. And we're going to put the battery inside of the phone. Well, I don't know if they can see any of this. Now we're going to snap on the case thing. we're going to power on the device. The power button's on the side here, and unlike the G2 and G3, the, the volume buttons are on the side like a typical Metro PCS phone. And you just hold down the power, and it's starting up. As you can tell from the boot screen how it is Android there in lowercase letters, it must run on KitKat. Some things about this phone that aren't on other Metro phones that people complain about it, it has more internal memory. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at the RAM. We're going to take a look at the camera. And amongst other things. It always takes a second for the screen to boot up at first. I think this is the right angle for the camera lens. Seems like it's still booting up. It's taking so long. I guess while this is doing this, I'll show you the... No, nope, screen dimmed. Alright, it's going to turn on. It's called the LG F60. Typically, when the LG phones have an F in front of them, that means that they're LTE. L usually signifies that it is a 4G device. So, it doesn't have soft touch keys on the phone. It has them on the screen. So, we're just going to go through next through the Android setup. I'm going to skip through this. Skip the lock code. And we're in the phone. Here's your typical LG icons. It has this, it has a couple pages. Very 
very Kit Kat. I believe this is 4.4.4, like the S5 or such, like the Amai. So we're going to take a look at the internal memory of the device. To do that, we click, we drag down from here, click that settings icon, uh, da, 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 go to about phone, go to storage inf software information, that's not it. The phone does have emojis for text messaging. A lot of people ask about that for some reason. I'm just going to go ahead and say that they have emojis because even if they didn't, you could download them off the Play Store so it doesn't make any difference. Uh, da, da, da. Storage. Has 8 gigabytes of internal storage and about 4.19 of actual available user storage. So it's not bad. It's definitely better than their other phones so you can actually have apps on this device. Let's see how much RAM it has. Holding home goes to Google now. It's got that clearing thing. Where do we get RAM at? One second when I look at the device myself. It also has a spot for an SD card. Okay, I'm opening up apps. It has... No, that's internal storage. So, available RAM is 400 megabytes. And it's saying that it has 400 used. So you can run a decent amount of of apps at the same time without it bogging down on you. The other thing I get asked about is the camera. So I guess we'll go ahead and try that. The camera's nice, it's got like autofocus and everything. Yep, okay, it's got a good camera, so. I like this phone. I believe it is $149 with Metro PCS. It's worth every penny. It's $99. Right now there's a promotion going on for Black Friday, so it's $99. It's the F60. It's the F60. Well, I think it's the same price as the Avant, but it's just because the Black Friday price, it's... Forty nine. Oh, that phone's forty nine dollars. All the time? I think so. It doesn't say Black Friday special on the tag. Oh, this phone's forty nine dollars. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a hundred and forty nine dollar phone with a fifty dollar. I thought it was ninety nine. It's a hundred and forty nine with a hundred dollar instant rebate. Oh. It's a legit deal. Yeah, it's a good deal. So if you subscribe to my channel and you get notified of these stupid videos. You should go get this phone right now. It's pretty cheap, and it's a good phone. Lots of internal memory. We're just going to power off the device. And that does it for the review of the LG Optimus F60 on Metro PCS. Stay tuned for my other videos today, which are going to be the Evolve 2 and the ZTE something, Z Max.